so in previous video i created a spring project successfully now i will start with creating an entity and the controllers and the repository and so on so i will start creating my entity i have created some package you can see here first i created the entity then the repository so i will suggest you to code with me so you will get the better understanding than how the works flow how the things you know, code flow so first i will create an entity in entity i want some I want first integer as an ID. You can take long string whatever you want. I will take title. Uh, title we want title. We want description as well. String description. Yeah, I want tag as well. Private string tag will be string only. Tags. Okay, uh, and I want to store the video in a file folder, not in a database. So I will uh, store the name of the video file in the database, which will be string only. So I will write private string video name. Okay, you can store the real uh, exact video name. You can change or you can change the name of video file into a string or some random oh. UUID so I will store with the random UUID and you can take it directly that real video file name I am not storing the video, real video file name because it will create conflicts if this video have the same name but it should not happen so I am creating the unique name for every video while uploading I will private I will take a date and add a date so this date is going to be the automatic generated it means by default when the post call will happen video will upload that time and the dead date it will take and store in the database so i will import a java util date okay so i want this id to be generated and unique so i will annotate with it at the rate of id at the rate of generated value and i will give strategy equal to okay so you can see the yellow and okay it's telling to get resetter but i am already imported a dependency of longbook so i will annotate with it and the rate of setter and the rate of setter and the rate of no arcs constructor okay i will annotate entity because i want it to be entity only I will give a table name and table name I will give table name as the video upload so I think our entity is ready I will try to once I will once try to run and check whether the table is created or not I will save it need not to run again because I am using the tip tools I will run it run as a okay i will run as a spring boot application wait for some time i think my application is started what happened I didn't find a stop listing the port and we have on other okay my service is already running and I rerun that so it's telling that on the same port we can't run two services so I will stop the services first I will rerun that again okay it's running now I think okay Ah, okay service started application okay I will go to database I will check the whether the in database table is created or not okay ah, yeah this is the my table which is created already with ID added the description tags title video name okay now I will go to repository 
and I will use JPA repository for my all the operation current operations. So we'll go here. I'll create a new repository interface. Video repository. Okay. I will finish it. I will enter it with at the rate of repository, and I will extend JPA repository as well, where T is my entity name, video entity, and this ID is nothing but our primary key. So it is integer only. I will suggest you to take every time in the wrapper primitive non primitive data type and you have to import this entity as well yeah so now error is gone I will close this I will make a service class first uh, I will write a post call for the video description and the tags and the um, titles because the video file is our multi-part file data it's not a string or whatever it is so for uploading the file there will be a different post call and the uploading the data extra data the title description whatever there will be a different separate post call and while the uploading